what is going on, people. I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, another movie review. Uh, this one was sent over to me by RLJE Films. Uh, this one actually came out yesterday. So if you're watching this, it's already out. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase it. Um, but this one did come out yesterday. Like I said, it was put out by RLJE Films. And they kind of have a partnership with Shudder. So I don't know if this is a Shudder exclusive or it was just played on Shudder. Uh, but I'm guessing you can find that as well. If you're not a physical movie collector, uh, I guess you could find it there. Uh, but uh, the movie I am talking about now is Off Season. But before I get into that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this review, go ahead and give it a uh, thumbs up. Hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. Um, and yeah, I guess comment. Let me know if you've seen this or not, or uh, if you're planning on seeing or whatever, and if this review helped you in any way. So anyway, the off-season was written and directed by uh, Mickey Keating. Hopefully I said that right. It stars Jocelyn Donahue, uh, Joe Swanberg, Richard Brake, among others. So pretty much what this is about is a girl named Maria, I believe her name is. Um, she gets a urgent letter about a <clears throat> her mother's gravesite. So her mother recently passed away. Uh, she, she gets a letter in the mail saying that her mother's gravesite has been vandalized. So pretty much she has to go and figure out what she's going to do with it, whether I guess keep it or what she's going to do with it. Uh, the only thing is that this um, grave is on this uh, secluded island type deal where for some reason this island half, like half of the year is closed. So pretty much for the off season, uh, this island shuts down. So pretty much she has to go there quick. Figure out what she wants to do and get out because at that point in time, if she doesn't get out in a certain point, uh, then um, they're pretty much uh, she's pretty much stuck on the island. She ends up going with one of her friends or one of her coworkers, and um, pretty much they end up going to this place. And right off the bat, once you got in here, uh, once you got on the island, everything seemed a little off. The people, the situation, it all seemed just not right. Uh, so throughout the movie, um, pretty much they're looking for the graveyard manager, I guess you want to call it, to get this, you know, done as quickly as possible before, again, they get stuck on this island. So at this point in time, they're frantically, I, I call it frantically, looking for uh, the guy. And like I said, they're going through these different places, running into people, which I guess is a better sign than not running into like nobody. Uh, but just the people there are way off. So throughout the movie, um, things start coming back to her, back to Maria of her mother saying, hey, listen, whatever you do, do not bury me on this island, whatever, don't let them bring me back, don't let this happen, because you find out, I'm not going to give it uh, too much away, it's a little hard to follow at points, I must say, um, but pretty much you hear why this place might be the way it is, uh, and throughout the movie you just kind of put pieces together that it actually might be uh, what uh, you know, the mother was talking about. So like I said, throughout the movie, it is broken up into like chapters. So each part is, seems a little bit different than the other. Um, and it brings you to different points. So like I said, I might have to watch it again to fully understand and fully follow it. Uh, the only thing is most times, uh, whenever I like watch stuff, if I don't fully understand it, I'd go to like the special features and you know, the commentaries and then figure it out a little bit more. The only problem with this, it doesn't really, it, it doesn't have any special features. So it's one of those things that you might have to watch again from what I was looking at. Uh, but it is creepy. There's many points where it's just like um, seclusion and just noises and uh, you're, you know, trying to figure out what's going on because again, uh, it's just... Um, the, the more, the, the deeper it goes into uh, the movie, it just seems like it's getting uh, less and less uh, crowded in this island, if I could put it that way. Like I said, I don't want to give too much away. Plus, like I said, if I keep on going too deep into the rabbit hole, 
I'm going to, like, even confuse myself. Uh, but it's definitely a little bit different than I'm used to. It's more, I don't want to say it's a ghost story or anything like that. Let's just say there's, uh, there's evil entities in this one. Uh, but I'd say definitely go ahead and check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. Um... It is one that you're going to have to pay attention to. Like I said, if you miss something, you it might throw you off a little bit. Uh, but it does, It like I said, it goes into like chapters and such. Uh, so it kind of gives you, okay, what's coming ahead. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit different than I'm used to, I must say. It's it's um, it's something that I have I must say is uh, like a first time watch for me kind of deal. Because sometimes you'll get storylines that have been played out many a times. This one I don't remember anything kind of like it. So uh, I'll give it props for that one for sure. But like I said, this is out already. Uh, it is. Uh, it came out yesterday, uh, June 14th. Uh, so I'll leave the link to where you can uh, purchase this. And all with all my reviews as well, I'll leave the link to... Uh, uh, the trailer, so you can check out the trailer and stuff. But again, this was put out by RLJE Films. And it is, uh, I guess it, you can find it on Shudder as well. So in the description, I will leave everything uh, that I talk about. I'll leave the IMDB little write-up and such. I'll leave the link for the trailer. And I'll leave the link for uh, the um, movie itself, the Amazon link and such. So check out the off-season, uh, like I said as well. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this review, uh, let me, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, hit the little bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. I will be doing a update review that I haven't done in a long time. So stick around for that. And um, I guess that's really about it. I'll leave all the... Uh, <clears throat> All my other like uh, social media and stuff in the description as well, so you can check that out. I got a Facebook fan page, I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me, I got a TikTok, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So check out all the uh, links and stuff, and you can find it there. I'm part of a podcast called The Wicked Horror Show. Uh, we go live every Tuesday night, so I'll leave the link for that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really about it. So again, check out off season. Check out Shudder, check out RLJE Films, and I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.